Hello and welcome to the channel YouTube World. So your computer's failing to recognize either your internal or external hard drive and you're having a hard time trying to format the hard drive as a result. You want to go to the magnifying glass and type the word disk in. Never mind that. It's because I did an extra step. First thing is first. Locate your drives that you do not want to format. Find the one that was unlisted. Mine is disk four. So for me specifically, it's number four. And again, you're clicking on the big bar, you right click, everything's all grayed out. Everything was grayed out for me here as well. So now that you found that out, hit the Windows key and the letter R. Now type in the word disk part, all in one word and hit enter. Now that you're here, type in the word list, list disk. Find the disk. As I said, I've confirmed that for me specifically, it's disk 4. So we're going to go ahead and type the word select disk 4. Now it says disk 4 is now the selected disk. Type the word clean, like Mr. Clean, you know, the bald guy. Type enter, or hit enter, rather. It'll say that it's succeeded if all goes well. Now you can close this. Now you can go back here. Now it'll show you a black bar instead of a gray bar. Go ahead and left or right click on the left box because you can technically interact with both boxes, but you still can't do anything here. So make sure you click on this little box here and go to initialize disk. Make sure that it's disk four. Remember, make sure you locate your number. For you, it could be two, three, okay? Now I'm going to choose GPT. Okay, that's because, first of all, GPT allows for more than four partitions on a drive, and it also is required for drives that are over two terabytes anyways. So since this is a two terabyte drive, I'm just going to go ahead and pick GPT anyways. So we do that. Once that's done, it won't look like anything happened, but now there's like little you know, scribbled lines, whatever in it. Now go ahead and uh, right click now on the big long rectangle bar and uh, click on new simple volume. Now we're going to click next. Click next, don't touch anything there. Okay, okay, okay. Now we want to assign it a letter. What letter is that going to be? Well, that you have to figure out on your own. For me, it's going to be, I can't use X because apparently I've already chosen X. We're going to go with the letter Z. We're going to assign it the letter Z. I'm not going to touch either of these options. I'm just going to have the top option selected and we're going to go next. Format, I'm going to choose NTFS. I'm going to leave it on default. We're going to call this one terabyte. Yeah, sorry, mine's a one terabyte, but that doesn't matter. And I'm just going to leave it on perform a quick format. Once you've selected this, allocation unit size, I kind of forget what that is. I think that's a bit of a buffer. I've never touched that in my whole life. Let's just go to next. And then click on finish. It's formatting. Your entire hard drive is gone. No, I'm just kidding. I got two screens here, that's why I keep turning my head and this window popped up. So now when I go back to my PC, this is my SSD hard drive. This is my regular internal 2 terabyte hard drive. This is my special 1 terabyte gaming hard drive, good for me. This is the newly formatted discoverable hard drive that we were unable to see originally considered drive 4. And now as you can see, it just works. I'm going to try to do a really quick recap. So you want to go to your magnifying glass. You want to type the word disk. It brings up this window. Locate the number of the drive here that you want to format. And by the way, if you don't see your hard drive in here, it is fucked up. You're screwed. Now you want to hit the Windows R key once you've located the right number. You want to type in disk part. 
you want to type in list disk. You want to type the word select disk. For me, it's four. Again, for you, it could be two, three, ten. I don't know what's going on on your end. Select disk four. Hit enter. Disk four is now the selected disk. Now type the word clean. Hit enter. Once you do that, you close it out. You come back here. And this is where it'll allow you to initialize the drive. And then once it's done that, you can go here and start it as a new simple volume. Go through the, uh, the last couple of steps I just showed you. And that's it. Like I said, if you don't see your disc here, it is done. Like last week's meatloaf, you know what I'm saying? You're like up the shit creek without a paddle. So, yeah. I hope I explained that right. I'm terrible at explaining shit. But I was having a hard time with this myself. And I was tired of using all these other programs that you can download that probably do the job. You just download the program, select the drive, and it does it for you. But this is a undownloadable third-party software way of doing it right from Windows. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. But I'll make sure when you select the disk you want to format, it formats every other drive but the one you wanted. And over the air, it transfers all your information to my hard drive in which I then hold ransom for a fee of, I'll go easy this time, 200 bucks. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, we can just cancel the fee. I'll give you back your information. It's a way of redeeming yourself. That would be great. But if not, it's okay. You don't have to subscribe. I'm not one of those guys that's going to beg. But seriously, though, if you want to, that'd be cool. And uh, hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye for now.